Daddy. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Daddy. Is that Hi, Daddy. Can you see him through the camera now? Hi, Daddy. Yay. Hi, Daddy. Wait, come down off me knee a second, Hi, Daddy. Ah, Hi. Ah. I've just dropped a small child. <laughs> How weird is that? <laughs> come over here. Come over here. We'll put you there. You've been good for mummy. Are you being good for mommy? Daddy. Oh, I'm dropping you. Miss you, Freddy. Miss you. Oh, what did you do? Miss you, Daddy. He's totally standing on us now. They stand on my legs. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, that. <laughs> oh, get a shave. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, I'll get one in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> in the morning, like when you wake up, you in mean? The way, uh, yeah. When I wake You're... up in the afternoon. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning, it everybody. is Monday, the twentieth of everybody. August. Good morning, everybody. Freddy, where are you? There we go. Good morning. You're looking very cool today in your shirt and jeans combo. I like your outfit of the day. Very good. So we just finished breakfast and we're just finishing off getting ready now. Um, I let Freddy sit in the living room to have his breakfast this morning, which did my OCD no good because crumbs, toast and crumbs. I can't stand it. I hate it so, so much. So washing machine update. It's had a bit of a dodgy start this morning, shall we say. Um, it was working for a little bit. Then it wasn't. Um, fingers crossed it's on now um, the funny thing is as well that yesterday the extra washing powder and stuff that I'd taken to my mum's house um, I brought home and then went and did that this morning maybe it was just feeling the Monday morning blues anyway we all sorted pardon? Harry Potter what? Harry Potter what? Harry Potter wand? Harry Potter Shoes? Oh, he's saying. Oh, well done, Freddy. You need the Harry Potter keys? Yeah. Hey, goodness me, you're not stupid, are you? Basically, what he's saying is I keep the keys up high and um, this is my key ring, Hufflepuff, and Freddy's saying he needs the Harry Potter ones to open the door. How clever is that? You're so clever. Bless you. So our first job this morning, something I didn't tell you that happened on Saturday, is I used um, the Lloyd's online doctor service to order some medication um, that you're not able to get on prescription as such, so it's, you can't just get it for £9, basically you've got to pay the price of a private prescription to have this medication um it's nothing bad or anything um not at all um if anybody is desperate to know what it is um send me a message it's just not something that i need to discuss on our channel anyway um all was okay everything went through fine basically you do like an online consultation where you answer some questions i'm sure some of you guys have used it before anyway it was all approved and everything was fine i then got um a, an email from them later on in the afternoon bearing in mind i hadn't even left the house to go and to pick up the tablets um saying that they'd recorded my blood pressure in the store and that um it had appeared high um on their readings um and that. What are you doing, mister? I'm going to Alright, very good. Pause it, Yeah, you found a doggy. Mm. So they, t they said they'd taken my blood pressure readings and that my blood pressure was high, and as a result of that, I wasn't able to get the medication. Now, did you all hear what I said before that I hadn't actually been in the shop? Mm hmm. So I then rang them to find out what had happened and I spoke to a gentleman who said that oh they've taken the blood pressure of somebody who came into the store and said I've got an online order to collect and he said oh there was only one on the screen so they've just taken their blood pressure their blood pressure readings were high so they didn't dispense the medication and then they've refunded me that's a bit weird isn't it it's a bit strange and it's a little bit worrying to be honest because I was like what you didn't even ask their name so um 
once we're actually we start talking about someone well who was this because this person you know a complaint needs to be made you know that person could have then went on to dispense the medication without if if the blood pressure had been fine of this person that medication could have well been dispensed without them actually confirming who they were giving the medication you know i find that really worrying and quite scary and dangerous to be honest um so then after i delved a little bit further i went well who was this person and it turned out to be the guy that i was talking to on the phone so he was actually not not going to admit he was saying oh they've done this and they've done that so i found that a little bit bad crack as well that he wasn't sorry bad practice sorry that he wasn't even going to admit that it was him that um did that so i then asked to speak to the manager um about the situation because first of all it's an absolute carry on like having to do what i've got to do and secondly it's now being refunded because they've taken the blood pressure of somebody else not me recorded it. oh wow freddie has found a feather good boy you hold on tight to it somebody else's blood pressure and then cancelled my order and refunded my order come on then let's go so after speaking to her she then admitted that they'd received some bad news within the store that the store's actually been informed that it's going to be closing and I was like, well, I'm, I do sympathise with the fact that maybe you're all going to lose jobs or you're going to be placed elsewhere. But that is no excuse for potentially dispensing medication to the wrong person. So I then tried, she said, after speaking to her, she said, well, if you could put the order through again. I'm in from Monday anyway because we're closed yesterday. So I put the order through late on Saturday night. Obviously, there's nobody there yesterday. I then got a, a message yesterday saying, that the order had again been refunded because they'd recorded my height and weight in the store and it was outside of the healthy range the shop's not even open on a sunday two seconds darling the shop's not even open on a sunday so i'm now going down there to find out what on earth is going on because this is just ridiculous um i've never entered the shop yet like they've managed to record somebody else's blood pressure is mine and secondly they've uh, recorded i don't know how because the store's not even open on a sunday somebody else's height and weight or whatever's happened and it's not mine so i'm going down there to find what, what's going on because i need to get this sorted i mean this is just ridiculous i mean have you ever heard of anything i mean not only is it annoying because i've had to now put the order through twice it's been refunded twice but it's highly dangerous that this gentleman within the store and um, could potentially after if that blood pressure had been fine he could have actually dispensed that medication not even confirmed he was giving it to his defense was um there was only one online order on the screen so that he assumed that it was theirs and secondly and um, they didn't bat an eyelid oh have you banged your head mister oh come here and secondly that they didn't bat an eyelid when they were asked to give their blood pressure so i find that really bizarre so kiss it better oh freddy so i'm gonna head down there now and um get this sorted out oh come on it's all right big squeezes big squeezes oh freddy you're all right God, let me see let me see let me see oh it's okay it's okay Mwah. come on then let's go Hey everybody, so I have got everything sorted out with Lloyd's Pharmacy and I'll come back and tell you all about that in a minute but we have, we are actually in what I would call a code red situation this is not a drill, this is a code red situation basically Freddy's teddy bear which he calls Didi he's dropped somewhere whilst we've been in the town centre and we are now on an absolute mission to try and find it otherwise there will be tears so yeah so yes we've been back into the building society yorkshire building society and one of the guys who works there has kindly given freddy um, a big teddy bear to make him feel better but it's not Didi, and we now need to go and find him and um, so i repeat this is not a drill this is a cold red <laughs> hello so tell everybody what we're gonna do today i got two packets and what's in the packets i got two cards Cars? Are we going to open them for everybody? Yeah. You open it for everybody on the camera. Shall we show what, what they are? Mm -hmm. what? you got to hold it up this way so they can see. Mm. So what's the first one? A dump truck. <laughs> and the second one is a cement car, isn't it? If that's what it's mm. called. <laughs> got any scissors? Oh no, I think we can just manage. Should we try and unbox them now? 
Yeah. Yeah? Do you want me to do this one? Yeah. Yeah, and you do that one. Come on. Have you tried this bit, darling? Come on, okay. Try it no, on this one. Just try and open it from this side. Just like this. So. Well, it's quite hard. Oh, there we go. Why don't you try and take that one out there? And I'll do this one for you. got his little trucks his jump by truck and what was that one that you got was it a concrete mixer and yeah, um, we got these from Wilco's today um, and they weren't they weren't in the reduced section or anything but they're only 50 pence each weren't they Freddy so these are our bargain buys today 50 pence each so I spent a pound a pound on some treats for Freddy at day wow. bye. oh bye oh my goodness me how dark is it? I know. I love it. God. It's only just really going on dark. 7 o'clock and it's so dark. I got a new teddy bear. Oh, yeah. yeah. Called, called Yorkie. Called Yorkie. Very good. Yeah, Are you going to take Yorkie up to bed tonight? Yeah. Is he going to sleep on your bed? Oh, Freddy, do you love him? No. So, Freddie is just about to go to bed. Oh, yes, you've got a cotton wool pad in your, your book. That was exciting, wasn't it? Oh, lovely, nice and soft. So, Freddie, would you like to say good night to everybody? Because you're going to go up. So, you see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good boy. Is it? Hey guys, so I've just got back from rehearsal and oh my god, it's so dark outside. Um, it's just after 9.30 and it's basically a winter night, I couldn't believe it. Um, I had to quickly pop into my mum's, um, which I did a couple of weeks ago after rehearsal and it was light. Um, so sorry if I look a little bit dishevelled. It was a busy rehearsal, it was good. It's all coming together quite well. Act one is basically set. So yeah, it was really good. Um, I didn't have any tea before I left because um, I had had a late lunch. So I'm actually just going to get a little bit of tea now. Um, I've still got the vlog to edit to go up tonight, which I should have got done earlier. But, you know, after losing a teddy bear and everything else that's gone on today, I just haven't getting it done. So I need to get that done. Um, and then I've got a couple of jobs that I need to get sorted. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get all of that done and so I'll check back in with you guys shortly. Bye. Hey guys, apologies, but I'm just about to have a little bit of a rant. Um, to be totally honest, rant warning coming up now. So, I um, had some food, um, got tonight's vlog edited and then I just woke up on the sofa. It is now 5 to 3 in the morning. Um, really quite annoyed because although I'd got the vlog edited, um, I hadn't got it uploaded. Um, so it's currently still sitting waiting to be uploaded onto YouTube. And I don't really want to put it up now because it's 3 o'clock in the morning and apart from me, I don't think anybody else in the world is still awake. Apart from people on night shift, for instance, Jason, hey Jason, 
Um, anyway, so I'm just a little bit annoyed because it is just like the um, catalogue of errors that I've come from today. Um, I don't normally have massive rants, but sometimes you just, everybody has one of those days where you're just like, oh my goodness, please let this day be over. I said to Madeline earlier on, um, I was just like, do you know what? The, the, you know, I was saying like, you're thinking about things that, you know, positive things today about today. I was like, oh, that it's nearly over. I was like, this has just been the worst day. And basically, it started, it all started with, well, not even um, from Monday morning, really Sunday night, because I'd put trainers in the wash to wash and the washing machine's now not sure whether it's washing or not. And um, basically, we're now like 24 hours since the trainers went in and the wash is just about finished because it's been going on and off, on and off. So I'm sure it is just a loose wire that I've got. So anyway, I've had to um, take washing to my mum. So I was annoyed about the washing machine. I then had to go to Lloyd's um, and sort out um, the problems that I was having there. So I know I said earlier on when um, Dee Dee, Freddie's little snuggle Ted went missing, um, that I would explain what happened in there. So basically after trying to put two prescriptions through, it's like an online doctor service. Um, the first one, he, the guy in the store took somebody else's blood pressure um, and then didn't dispense the medication and instead refunded the, the cost of the medication to me because this person's blood pressure was too high. Um, so we hadn't even checked the name, but I did explain that um, in uh, yesterday's vlog, which went out on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday's vlog. No, that's not right. Is it? No, it was the beginning of this vlog. Yeah, sorry. The beginning of this vlog, I was just explaining how um, the guy in the pharmacy, it wasn't the pharmacist himself, it was one of the dispensing assistants um, who'd done that. So then, of course, putting a second um, order through for this uh, medication, it didn't even get to the approved stage. I got a message back saying that my height and weight had been taken. Well, it wasn't even open on Sunday, so there's no way I could have been in the store to have my height and weight taken. So anyway, to cut a long story short, I went in there today. The, um, the pharmacist was very, very apologetic um, about the situation. Um, and then started saying, well, I don't know what to do with this staff member. Um, I don't know whether they need, they should be reporting themselves um, to head office. I'm, I'm gonna make them report themselves. And I just turned around and said, well, do you know what? I was like, that's not my business. I felt like, you know, she was sort of just saying, and he's never come and apologised to me. I'm thinking, you're being quite unprofessional here. You, you're sort of having a go, you know, um, complaining about your staff member to me. And at the end of the day, this is already a rubbish situation. I don't need you to be complaining about the staff member. I need you to be resolved my situation. So I just said, well, look, I said, at the end of the day, in terms of the what's happened to me, um, it's just annoying that it's now taken us three attempts and we don't even know if that one's going to work. Um, but it's highly dangerous and worrying what that staff member did um, in terms of potentially, because he could have dispensed that medication to that person, just because he said to me, oh, um, I would have checked what the medication, you know, who it was, was before I dispensed it. You should have checked before you even took that blood pressure. You know, it's just no mistake. So there was somebody somewhere um, within my sort of local community who, um, didn't get the medication from store and is left after being told that they're not allowed it because of the blood pressure. Anyway, um, it did get sorted out. Um, was speaking to somebody from the online doctor service on the telephone, and for my inconvenience, they did actually um, refund me um, some money, and I got ten pound for um, the error and the inconvenience. Which is fine, you know, I mean, that's a nice gesture and everything, but to me, I think the most, it's just the worrying aspect of this, that how many times has he potentially gave medication out and not checked who it was. So that was annoying because that actually took, must have been more than an hour. Yeah, it took more than an hour in Lloyd's to sort something that they could see as a convenient, easy service that you can use online. Um, wasn't hasn't, definitely hasn't been convenient or easy for me, so I think I'll be um, taking a second look at using Lloyd's Pharmacy online in the future and hopefully using somewhere else because um, that was not a good um, situation for me. hasn't left me with the most positive feelings about it. 
so anyway that was that um, obviously you then know that we lost Snuggle Ted and Snuggle Ted was not located. I went back to every shop that we've been to, scoured the ground everywhere um, and nothing was found. Um, I did speak to, well, one of the shops, it was actually the building society, they spoke to security to help us see if lost property had received it and hadn't, but I have been advised to go back to the shops tomorrow um, after you know, the cleaners have been in because there is a chance that it was kicked into a display or something like that and we just couldn't see it. So I'll have to go back tomorrow and try and sort that out. So that was that. Then because of the time it took me to um, travel back around all of the shops with Freddie and try and find the snuggle tent, it meant that I ran out of time a day to complete my jobs that I needed to get done because I then needed to get done, get home, sorry, to put in an order online for some items that um, somebody has requested for our dancewear business so I need to get that done and I'm not complaining about having to put the items through um, it's just I had to get it done by a certain time because I didn't want to disappoint this customer so that had to be done by three o'clock um, we then had to go back out to pick up Madeline's prescription um, and then it was a huge wait in the pharmacy it was a different branch but it was another Lloyd's pharmacy so by the time I actually got the prescription in there it was nearly tea time so I had to get home and start making tea and then I've had rehearsal and then obviously I've just woke up now. Um, so today's vlog is now going to be going up, well it's now gone up as you're watching this, on Tuesday morning rather than Monday night. So a massive, massive apology for that because I know there'll be people who were waiting for that. So it hasn't been the best day, it's now well after three o'clock in the morning and I'm going to get myself to bed and hope that when I wake up again for Tuesday morning um that things are a little bit better so guys I'm sorry about the late vlog um, I'm going to end today's vlog here it just seems to be a catalogue of errors um today and I'm tired now and I've got things that I've got to get done tomorrow now which I had to get done today so I'll try again tomorrow which is obviously going to be Tuesday so by the time you're watching this video hopefully I will have got those jobs done so guys good night sweet dreams well it's not even sweet dreams it'll be good morning by the time you're watching this <laughs> so bye for now and I'll catch up with you guys soon bye